Well, there's been four in the past. Actually, this, this would be the sixth. There's been five um, in which largely because there was runaway climate change in four of the five cases, we lost something like 50% of the land species of the planet or 70% of the ocean or both. And we are potentially on our way to another mass extinction of that sort. Probably we or some of us will survive it because we're a fairly tough species. Um, but we're losing a lot already. Um, what we're talking about is four or five degrees Celsius hotter. That's the way scientists talk, but let's say close to 10 degrees Fahrenheit hotter average global temperature, which actually is worse than that because over land, you know, it, you know, it's an average of cool oceans, warm land. Over land, you're looking at probably for New York 12 to 13 degrees hotter, and inland 15 degrees hotter. So let me guess, 50 you're, years. you're not hugely impressed by the Kerry Lieberman bill? Not really adequate, I'm afraid. Because that does also still anticipate a, a temperature rise of four degrees. Well, yeah, but I mean, think about it. First of all, four degrees, average global temperature is seven degrees in the Midwest. You know, far from the oceans gets hotter. Seven degrees, I don't know if it's still raining there, seven degrees hotter. I don't know if you're still growing grain there. I mean, in the end, the problem becomes food. That's what we are going to suffer from. When you get the wars, when you get the waves of refugees, when you get the failed states, it will all be driven by the fact that for every degree of Celsius, again, of warming, you lose, on average, 10% of global food production, which we don't have a lot of slack in.